Hello and welcome to another episode of our Unknown to Icon series. I am Duper Daddy, and in today's episode, we are going to try and find that win. I did do a previous recording trying to find that win, but I didn't want to keep on showing you me losing because we did go on a losing run. I would have said I'm pulling out my hair. That's already been done with being married and having kids. Um, don't tell for wife. Ah, she knows. Right, back to the game. We went on a seven game losing run and we was literally going down into relegation zone. We need to end this form, this run of bad form. Go out there and make it count. Or we'll be sacked and then I will be joining another team and I'll be still searching for a winning tactic in non-league football. And we're losing. Oh, penalty. My three attackers, I need to squeeze them together. Oh, Rooney, you idiot. Back in Dean and Jones, and Jeans just is in no man's land. Another loss. Let's look at what we're doing. We're going to get sacked. We are. This is going to be my first sacking in... I can't remember last time I got sacked in a football manager, if I'm honest. I'm really struggling with this team. This team is broken. This club is broken, and I'm struggling to fix it. Now in this video, we've turned it around and this is how we did it. All right, here it is. Here's the fixture list of how we're doing. You see at the bottom that yes, we've turned it around and we'll go through that in a minute. And I'm going to show you our Telford game at home. And then obviously let's see out the season and start fresh because this team needs a total rebuild. There's some good things and there's some bad things. The bad things need to go. I've already started off shipping some players, preparing for next season. I think I even might have brought in some players. We'll have a look at that as well. But look all those reds. So I left you with a draw on our last episode where we were tweaking with our tactics. Nil-nil with Spenny Moore. It was at home. And I thought to myself, ah, oh, you know what? I'm going to do off camera some games and see what's going on. Funny thing is, we played against Kidderminster and we won. I thought, oh, maybe I'm going to turn it around now. And then look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven games on a trot. We just couldn't get that win. At least Asante's scoring. We've got Asante back scoring, which is great. So that's an upside. I thought, okay, right. Started bringing some youth through as well. I found a couple of good little players like this. Alex Nazovic savings. He's saving me money. Is that a bit of a rubbish joke? Well, he is in a way because he's only cost me £5 a week. And he's already scored more goals than Adam Rooney. Saving me loads of money because Adam Rooney costs me, well, did cost me because he's going £500 a week and we are offloading him to UCD. I tinkered my tactics. I tried all sorts. But there was one thing I didn't try and that was going more defensive and cautious play. So in our Southport game, that's exactly what I did. And I got rid of really off-form players and thought, you know what, stats and experience-wise, you're pretty good. But you're playing crap. So I've brought through some youngsters and we'll go through them in a minute. But anyway, we took our Tottenham tactic. Cautious version two is available to download on Steam or you can catch our tactic video, which has just been released. So from Southport, we won 2-0 playing our cautious tactic. We had a bit of a slip up against Leamington. If we actually go into that game, Leamington, what happened? What happened? Why did we slip up? We was at home. It was dominating, 16 shots, 7 on target to their 9 and 4. They had better XG because obviously better shots on target to shots ratio. We had better possession, passes completed was better. And if we really open it up, they had better intensity. But then again, if we're playing cautious, we wouldn't have that intensity anyway. So we lost that anyway. But I thought, you know what, let's keep going. And then we won. We beat Cur Curzon, Ashton, 23rd, you would have probably expected. But we won away. And then we drew to Spennymore. Remember last game that I left you, we drew to them as well. But this time we drew to them away. Spennymore, Spennymore, Spennymore are third in the league at the moment. And then we played Bliff Spartans, 17th. And then our last game, we won 3-2 against Flyde. And look at that. They are top of the table and we beat them. Fair enough, they've lost 11 times, but we beat them. Considering we're right down there. 
So this is the league table and this is where we're at. Leads nicely into it. 41 games played, 50 points. We shouldn't go down, but if we go on that losing run, then we're in trouble. But if we can pick up these wins that we're doing at the moment, we're going to be okay. We're fourth in the form table. Brilliant. Considering how bad our form was. So we've gone from having worse form and turned it around. And this is what I'm saying. I've turned it around quickly before we go into a game. Let's just jump into my team. We'll talk about transfers in for next episode when we're, we're going to have a massive clear out. So let's talk about transfers and that and then and just go from there. This is one of my youngsters, Colbert. Tackling's good. Got some good mental, physical stats. Nothing special, but what he's doing for me is a better job. What my experienced and better left back was doing. And I've got rid of him. We've kept Glenn Walker, but he's going to be gone. Sente, he's doing all right. So he's played 18, scored 13 for us. Makama's doing really well. He's on loan. We'll try and either sign him next season or I like him. He's doing well. Good average rating, good form. 31 games, 12 assists and 10 goals. And then we've got... Who else did we bring through? Ah, we brought him recently. Just on transfer deadline day, which is in March, I think it was. End of March. And we brought him, Theo Wadrington from Kingsland Town. And he was playing all right in the same league, 6.93. And they was getting rid of him. So I thought, it's no brainer. If I can bring him in, let's bring him in. I mean, what is he? £350 a week. Could afford him. Why not? Looks pretty good. 15 tackling, some good mental stats, passing 11. Physical, not so great. I want him to be that probably box to box while I'm playing him in. Let's get to tactics before we jump into a game. There you go. Defense midfielder. Then we've got Woods Armson. Armson is now for our top club scorer. It was ages and ages, and he finally got a goal. So fair play to him. Said Makama Asante. I like that front three. Pretty good for this league. Woods, Arms and Wollington. I'm feeling that midfield a bit. I think it's my defence I need to work on. Colbert, I think he could be good next season. And then we, we will see here and probably a replacement goalie. It's positive so far. Hopefully, because it hasn't been going so well in these recordings, we're going to go in and win this game. Come on. Wish me luck. Let's go into it. So Telford are 22nd in the league and we're 18th. So this just gives us that breathing space away from relegation, I guess, if we win today. Probably should kill off our threat of relegation. But then again, it all depends what happens with Telford. Da, 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 da. I think I'm happy with that. So many greens there. Let's bring Savins back on. Like it. Okay. F1's fitness is okay. Yeah, happy with that. Let's keep a winning team, I guess. Uh, we've been on a good run. Yeah, of course. Let's go. Keep impressing me, guys. Plan for your contracts now. So we've just been top of the table and we go into this one. Can we continue our form? Fourth in the table, form table. 18th in the league table. If we didn't pick up this form, ah, oh, I would have been sacked. No questions asked. Nah. Kind of Sante, you're on good form as well. All right, 29 minutes played. Can we get a goal? Senior. Down for right. Gets ball instead to Woods. Woods has a crack. Oh, wasn't too bad. Telford with a goal kick. Something's brewing. Dean. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> Just felt on the ball. Take your time. This is what the cautious play does. I mean, they may try and catch you out with these passing space balls. Oh, a Santa unlucky. How are we doing? No shots on target for us, whereas they've got one. Getting shots, just not getting it on target. Woods, another shot against Wall. Oh, Senior. Just couldn't get a ball there. They're running into the box. Safe hands, Lewis. Oh, out wide. Senior's not doing that well with that green. Yeah. Senior. He's just not... Yeah, just can't... He's, what's a word I'm looking for? Green's walking all over him. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so you're going to now... Oh, it's going to be another loss, isn't it? And we're at home as well. Yeah, come on. Attacking time. Change Armson for Waddington. But it's annoying that I have to do this. And worst thing is, if you play this attacking formation straight off go, it doesn't have the same effect. Do try and hold off doing it, but we need to change. Get a goal and go back to cautious, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, no, nah, you've been ter absolutely terrible. 
Now we're going to attack and see what you can do. Might have to tweak cautious so that it's not too cautious and just turn it into that balance a little bit. I haven't gone attacking on all my games. I think Fly had played 4-4-2 four, four, as well. Maybe it's just playing against that formation. It's going to be typical for game I show. We're going to bloody lose. Go on, my camera. Go on. Yes. Get in. It's quite early. It's only been four minutes with change of formation. Change of tactics, shall I say. And formation. See if we can, again, build momentum and get another goal and then go cautious. Yes, go on, Asante. Yes. This is what this formation can do. Right, five more minutes and then I'm going to go cautious. Or do I wait until the 70th minute? We get, if we get third, I'm going cautious. Come on, I want to show you a win. I'm going to show you our, our turnaround. Or well, my title of video is going to be, uh, we thought we turned it around. Get third or I'm going to change this back. I want my players to be knackered. Back post, no. Rodrington. Oh, he's fouled. Allen's got a, he's going to get sent off, isn't he? Yeah, he's off. Right. Five more minutes, and then I'm going to go cautious. Beautiful play. Oh, unlucky. Oh, got an injury. Senior. Uh, youngster. First. Let's have a look at his stats. Not bad, you know, for this division. You could literally just sack all your experienced players and play with a young team and probably still get some sort of results. All right, same chef minute. We are going to, yeah, like, it doesn't want me to play all this stuff. Sharp assistant, it's working. All right, cautious. Armstrong back up for Waddington. And let's take off some players. So Wood's not playing that great. Can I change that? No, hey, Wood needs to stay on. But what I might do then is swap them around in that position. Tiredness, anyone tired? Nervous, Colbert. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's keep him on. Stead. Let's give Yusuf a game. And let's rest Asante. Confirm. Go from a cautious play, which has been working and I can get a result with. But if it's not working, I do have... Oh, unlucky. My £5 savings, man. Oh, and Boxer Jones. He couldn't turn it. Gone to Armson. Oh, he's going to have a crack. Couldn't find that space. Out wide to Yosef. Yosef with the ball in. Oh, unlucky. And Telford deal with the danger. James breaks it back over to Makama. Makama headers it down. Oh, Woods, unlucky. Telford, something's going to happen maybe? Or is it just going to literally play for whole injury time? Makama, he's free. Can he get another goal? Oh, he played it across. Where was my striker? Oh, wow, we really are wasting time. <laughs> oh, and it's over. Brilliant. Centre-backs played really well. Makama had a great game. Asante played well. And that's pretty much it. We had 19 shots, only three on target. Pretty poor. 13 corners to their one. And it was even on for possession. Obviously, we was winning 2-1 before sending off. And then we just drew out the game. And now let's just jump into the league quickly before we go. 16th in the league. I think if you go back a couple of videos ago, we were around that position. Anyway, we are now 11 points away from safety. I think we're safe. Let's just see how high we can go up the table. And we will be going again for next season. Big changes are going to be made to see if we can get into that playoffs like what I was hoping to try and do this season or even get number one spot to get automatic promotion. If you don't want to miss this series, you know what to do. Subscribe, give it a like so that it can go out to the world. And most importantly, thank you for watching.